Hello everyone, my name is Liv and today I'm going to show you my book haul from Book Expo and BookCon. And I surprisingly got a lot of books from Book Expo and BookCon. I did not think I would because the expo was a little bit different so it was a little bit harder to get books. But I managed to have a lot of friends who helped me out and they helped me get some of my most anticipated books of all year. So let's just get right into it because I want to tell you all about these books because I'm very excited about all of them. So the first book that I have on my pile is Frankly in Love. He is the husband of Nicola Yoon who is one of our favorite contemporary authors and he is making his debut into the contemporary world. This book is about a Korean American boy named Frank and he is trying to please his parents who are Korean immigrants. They have these expectations that they want him to marry a Korean girl but he is in love with a white girl at his school who understands his personality and who clicks with him. So he has to deal with the fact that he wants to please his parents but he also wants to to make a name for himself and go beyond the boundaries that his parents set with their expectations and I just cannot wait to read it. The cover is gorgeous and I think this is going to be a great book exploring both family and your own personal identity. The next book was not given out at Book Expo but I bought it at Book Expo and it is Jenna Clare's poetry book. This is Water Runs Red and I am so so excited to read this one because Jenna Clare Claire, she has her own YouTube channel. You all know her. She's, she's a gem. I love her so much. I literally, literally cried over her at BookCon because I truly love her so much and my type 2 wing just went off and ran with it and we were just, we were crying. It was great. And she has an entire documentary showcasing how she created this poetry collection and I watched all of it because I'm like, I have to watch it. And it is so interesting. She photoshopped every single page in this poetry collection and it's filled with her poetry and it's also filled with her photography as well. And I'm just very interested to read this type of a poetry collection because I've read modern poetry before but it's very much just text. But this also has photography so I'm actually currently reading this and I'm taking it very slow because I want to read every single line. I want to look at all the photos that are in this poetry collection and I'm just so proud of all the work that she's put into this poetry collection. You could really tell that she put a lot of effort and a lot of love into it and I am just so proud of her. So if you're looking for a modern poetry collection to delve into, I would highly recommend this one because this is by far the most creative poetry collection I've ever like laid my eyes upon. The next thing that I got is actually a graphic novel or a comic. I have no idea the difference. Don't at me. And it is Marie Lu's Batman Nightwalker book transformed into a graphic novel. And I'm just very excited for this because I've never read a... Batman graphic novel slash comic, still don't know the difference. And I feel like a fraud because Batman is my favorite superhero of all time and I feel like I should read one of his comics graphic novels to just learn more about his character and I'm very excited to dive into this because it looks amazing and I love Marie Lu's writing style so I'm sure I'm going to absolutely love this as well. The next thing that I got is another graphic novel. I picked up a lot of graphic novels in this book expo and book con and I'm very surprised because I tend to not read graphic novels but there were just so many that I was interested in and the next one that I was interested in is Stargazing by Jen Wang and this one I have no idea what it's about. I honestly don't want to know. I want to just dive in without knowing too much about the synopsis but it just looks so freaking adorable and the cover is gorgeous and I just, I just want to dive deeper into cute little graphic novels that are pastel colored and have a cute storyline that I can just escape from reality to dive into that story and I am very excited for this. And we also got a cute little art print that came with the book and it has the cover of the book as well and it just looks so freaking adorable. I love it. The next book I got was given to me by Mason Deaver who is the author of I Wish You All the Best and they stood online for me and gave me this book and they made my entire year. I am honestly just like amazed with their kindness and it is 
Ninth House by Leigh Bardugo. Can we get a look at this cover? Like, honestly, this cover is the most gorgeous thing in the world. This is Leigh Bardugo's kind of like debut into adult fantasy and literature, and I am here for it. This is basically about a person who goes to Yale, and she has a very dark past, and she goes to Yale on a full ride. But she's learning that there are people kind of watching her and keeping tabs on her. And she's also delving deeper into this very secretive society that has a lot of twists and turns. And I'm going to read you the last couple of sentences of the synopsis because I feel like this really sums up what this book is going to be about. And it says, There are occult activities, there being the secret society that they're joining, their occult activities are more sinister and more extraordinary than any paranoid imagination might conceive. They tamper with forbidden magic, they raise the dead, and sometimes they prey on the living. I just love dark academia novels and this very much reminds me of that. There's going to be a lot of eeriness to the whole entire book and I am just very excited because Leigh Bardugo knows how to write a really dark book and this is adult so there are kind of no limits when it comes to adult fantasy and adult fiction. So I am excited to see what she is going to bring forth to the table. And I still can't believe I'm holding this in my hands because like the honor, every single person at Book Expo was basically fighting for this book and the fact that Mason got me a copy and passed it along to me just makes my entire year and I'm so honored and I cannot wait to read this. Thank you so much Mason and thank you so much Cam for making this possible. Thank you for making my Book Expo 2019. You both are the best and I love you so much and uh, I wish you all the best. The next book that I got is actually from Daniel Jose Older, and I saw him throughout BookCon a lot of times. We always hugged because we're both Cuban, so we have that camaraderie. And he gave me The Book of Lost Saints, which is his next book that's being released on November 2019. I'm very excited for this one because this has to deal with the Cuban Revolution. It has to do with the Cuban Revolution because Marisol has disappeared throughout the Cuban Revolution, but her nephew Ramon is living in New Jersey. And with her disappearance, she's trying to get him to unearth parts of their family history. And it just looks like it's going to be a lot of fun because I know that Daniel Jose Older has a lot of very like conversational characters who I really connect with. And I'm very excited for this book because I'm going to read you like the top little blurb because I love reading that because I feel like it tells you a lot about the book, obviously. And it says, a haunting meditation on family forgiveness and the violent struggles to be free. So I know it's going to deal a lot with family, it's going to deal a lot with history, and it's also going to deal a lot with the Cuban Revolution, which I'm very excited to read about because I love reading about the Cuban Revolution from the eyes of Cubans themselves, so just learning more about that and having this added to my Cuban book collection is going to be amazing. And I just appreciate Daniel so much and I am so glad that he passed this along to me. He also made my Book Expo 2019 for just saying hi and then giving me his next release because I'm very excited for it. The next three things that I got are actually graphic novels because like I said, I was watching walking around a lot and nobody ever really grabs the graphic novels at Book Expo and I'm like they need love so I'm gonna grab a few and I'm gonna read them because they all look so freaking cute. So the next one that I have is Mooncakes and this one looks so freaking pretty and so adorable. This is about a girl who is a teenage witch and she works at her grandmother's bookstore and one day she finds her childhood crush fighting a demon horse. So her crush Tam asks her for help and they basically get into a bunch of magical shenanigans and I just love the entire premise of it. I love the fact that she is a teenage witch working in a bookstore. I think that is the most adorable thing ever and I just cannot wait to dive into this. The next graphic novel I got is a very tiny one. It's from Free Comic Book Days and this is a sheet story and if you saw my previous book expo book haul from last Last year you know I got a graphic novel named Sheets. It's about a girl who works at a laundromat and she finds a ghost who haunts it and he wears a sheet and it is adorable and this is just kind of a little story that the author wrote 
for free comic book day, it's not necessarily important for the entire plot of Sheets and the sequel coming out, which is Delicates, but it's still a cute story to keep you in the world, to keep you in the art style, and just to remind you of your love for Sheets. And it's so cute, and I'm so glad I grabbed this because it just looks so cute, and I love Sheets so much. It's one of my favorite graphic novels. And the next graphic novel that I got is Moonstruck, and I actually just read this yesterday. This is about a girl who works in a cafe. She is part werewolf, and she is dating another girl who is also part werewolf. And their friend Chet is a centaur, and they go to a show one day, and Chet gets turned into a human. So basically, these characters have to figure out how to turn Chet back into a centaur, and and it just deals with a lot of magic. It deals with a very cute town. I love the art style of this. I think it's so adorable and I just love the really specific details that are in each little page and I thought it was adorable. There were certain aspects of it where I was like this isn't really necessary for the story because it also shows some pages from a book that the character is reading. I feel like that didn't really add to the story but it was still a cute graphic novel nonetheless and I thought it was a very fun time to read. The next book that I got is from Cam and she got the hookup for me, and she got me The Starless Sea by Erin Morgenstern. Can we look at this cover? Like, this cover is just, it's gorgeous. It has bees on it, and I'm so very excited for this book. This is about a boy named Zachary, and he finds this very mysterious book, kind of like Shadow of the Wind, and he's reading this book. It's very vivid and atmospheric, and he's falling into the world, and then he reads a story in the book, and it's a story from his childhood, and he's like, this is very odd. I have to find out more about this book. So he follows a set of clues with these two friends that he meets along the way to try and uncover what this book means and what his life means because he's somehow connected to this book but he doesn't know how and he wants to figure out more about it. And that's all I'm going to give you from the synopsis because like with other books, I kind of want to go into this one not knowing much. But it is a hefty book. It's about almost 500 pages, I feel like. This will be a book full of twists and turns. The synopsis also mentioned a masquerade party, and as a fan of Phantom of the Opera, anytime a masquerade is mentioned, I'm like, I'm here for it. So I'm very excited for this book, and I cannot believe that I'm like one of the few people who has gotten a Starless Sea from Book Expo. The honor. I can't believe it. The next book that I got, I was actually walking around BookCon and I was just walking around minding my own business and I see a line for this book and I'm like, I've heard a lot of things about it, so let me just join the line. And it is called Ask Again Yes. This reminds me very much of Little Fires Everywhere. It deals with a suburban drama and it deals with these two families who kind of clash with each other and that's all I want to know. I know it's not exactly like Little Fires Everywhere, but it gives me the same vibes and I'm always looking for some nice suburban dramas to read because I think they're so interesting along with Dark Academia. Suburban dramas is a very specific trope that I love to read about so I'm very excited for this one and I can't believe they gave out final copies of it because like hmm this cover is gorgeous and I'm glad I got this in my hands. And the last book that I got at Book Expo and BookCon, I got specifically at BookCon, and this is Christina Lauren's recent release which is coming out in... October and it is called Twice in a Blue Moon and I was just walking around in the morning and I saw a whole pile of these books being given out and nobody else was really grabbing it so I was like gonna grab myself a copy so I got myself a copy and I love Christina Lauren I think they do amazing romances they're also fun and quirky and all the characters really stand out and really like stay with you after you read the book so let's read the synopsis and find out what this book is about because I'm sure I'm going to love it either way. So, Twice in a Blue Moon is about these two people who have fallen in love, they were each other's first love, and their first heartbreak. And Tate, years later, becomes a famous actress, and she bumps into Sam and she's like, oh my god, you're like my first love. And basically it's dealing with second chance romance because Sam wants to get back together with Tate, but Tate is still very much heartbroken over what happened before in their past. So I think it's going to deal with second chance romance, some heartbreak, but it's also going to deal with Hollywood. And if you know me, and if you're not new to this channel, you know I love Hollywood, both old and new. So 
I'm excited for this one. I think this is right up my alley and I'm just very excited to read it. These are the types of books that I could read in a day, so I'm very excited to read another Christina Lauren book and I'm sure it's going to be amazing. So the last two things that I got at Book Expo and BookCon both are two pieces of paper, but they both mean a lot to me. So, the first one that I got is a drawing of me from Proud Bookline. If you do not follow their Instagram, it's basically a Instagram dedicated to all of booktube and it has a lot of screenshots from booktubers videos and it just uplifts booktubers and it's such a nice Instagram to follow and I love it so much and I cannot believe that they drew me because I hardly ever get drawn so when I do get drawn it means the world to me and it's also laminated and as a type one having things laminated makes my entire life and I appreciate it a lot and I'm just so thankful for this drawing and I love it and I will cherish it always. And the last thing that I got is a signed little poster from Lupita Nyong'o. I was online for Ask Again Yes and the same publisher publishes Lupita Nyong'o's upcoming picture book. And I was online for this, and then I realized that an hour later, Lupita Nyong'o would be there, so I ran up to Christina Marie, did not even say hi. I was like, Christina Marie, we're meeting Lupita Nyong'o. And she was like, sure, let's do it. We went online, we met her. I told her how much I loved us. I told her how much she was an inspiration, and she was just so calm and so collected, and she was just like, thank you. And I was just like, Lupita, you blessed my life. I'm so honored to be in your presence. And I can't believe I can say that I met Lupita Nyong'o and it was just the most amazing experience in my life and it was only like 30 seconds. It was great. And I will cherish this poster always because wow, what a time. Book Expo was like so eventful and it was so difficult to get books but it was still a fun event nonetheless. I just can't believe that I got so many amazing books from authors and friends and publishers and I also just can't believe that it went by so quickly, it went by like a snap and it was just such a fun event and I cannot wait to read all of these books and I just want to say to anyone new here, thank you for joining in on this whole entire journey on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for watching this video, it means the world to me. Be sure to like and subscribe and be sure to comment if you're excited for any of these books because I would love to start a conversation and yeah, that's it. That's it. That's the whole video. That's all I got for you guys today, and I will see you in another video. Bye!